Hello and welcome to American Woman, your source for anything and everything that's important to today's American Woman. I'm your host, Nancy Fitzgerald. Today we're coming to you from Strings Restaurant. Located in Denver's uptown neighborhood, Strings has long been one of Denver's hippest restaurants. Whether it's a tuxedo affair or just jeans, Strings attracts celebrities, politicians, and its loyal local crowd. The menu focuses on new American cuisine, usually with a twist. A little later on in the show, we're going to chat with the chef here at Strings. Going to talk about the new menu come Feb 1st. The eclectic menu here at Strings is transformed seasonally with local fresh ingredients. And I have to tell you about a dinner for two that we're going to give away. you got to stay tuned, though. Find out how you can win. Welcome back to American Woman Television and Strings Restaurant. Joining us now is their executive chef, Aaron Whitcomb. Thank you so much Hello. for having us, Aaron. You're welcome. Nice to be back. <laughs> so you have some awesome, exciting new dishes come Feb 1st. Tell we me do. about those. We do. Well, we're going into our winter menu, and uh, we're just trying to stay within the season, but at the same time, change it up a little bit. So we have uh, some wonderful new appetizers, uh, including sweetbreads and some new foie gras dishes. Um, plus we have clams on there, um, cured meat tray, uh, a lot of fun, very snackable stuff, very shareable stuff. And then, uh, you know, pastas, we've got some really fun pastas this time, really incorporating some new stuff. And then entree-wise, um, you know, we're getting into more of a, that in-between, like winter, but it's spring, so you got to be careful about too heavy, too light. So we have a little bit of both on this new menu. We've got one dish that's a very, very light dish. It's steamed fish, sort of with some Asian Thai flavors. And then we have another dish that's more of the really kind of hearty steak with uh, parsnip and winter vegetables, so. Erin, how do you come up with your dishes? Because you always have a seasonal sort of a twist to it as along with those local ingredients that are nice and fresh. Right. Well, you know what we do? Um, I sit down and, and before months before each menu, I sit down and I start writing out a list of just ingredients. Just things that make me think of the season, uh, that are in season, that maybe I want to play with, that maybe has been successful on past menus. And I honestly come up with just a big list of ingredients. Aaron, I'm a carb queen, so this is like <laughs> my dish. This works, this works. This is one of the new pastas that we're doing. Um, and you know, we were talking about how I come up with ideas, and this one honestly spawned out of the pasta shape more than anything. This is a pasta shape, it's called uh, quesoncelli. It means um, uh, little wings. And as soon as I saw this shape, I was in love with it. I had to do something with it. So. <laughs> Uh, we did a very, very classic pasta. It's uh, butternut squash stuffed quesoncelli. Uh, but to kind of play with it a little bit, we have uh, micro sage on there. We've got walnuts that have actually been candied. Oh. Um, and then we have a brown butter sauce, bernoisette, that has a little bit of extra lemon juice in it. Um, and then some spicy espelette powder. So you get that, you get that sweet from the walnuts, the spicy from the espalette, the fatty from the butter and the butter and the squash, and then you get the acid from the lemon. And so, you know, it just, it dances around on your tongue. And um, I, I don't know, I, I love it. It's a classic dish, just uh, done, you know, in a fun way. The thing that always impresses me so much about you, Erin, is that you are well-rounded. You know everything about wine, everything about the food. What have you decided to put with, with the pasta here? And I mean, does it matter what you put with it? Well, it does, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can drink whatever you want with it. But if you'd like something that pairs up well, um, we did. I, I did a red and a white for this. The the white is uh, White Haven Sauvignon Blanc. Um, I did the Sauvignon Blanc because um, the sweetness of this and the kind of creamy richness of it, um, the acid in the Sauvignon Blanc and the fruitiness of it really kind of plays fun with the butternut squash and the sage. You know, kind of some more hearty flavors. Uh -huh. Uh, and then we also did uh, the Angeline Pinot Noir from Santa Rosa. I did that because Pinot Noir, those fruits, um, pair up so well with walnuts. Bon appetito. Mm. Oh, Aaron, that is so delicious. Speaking about wine, you have a wine tasting, a winter wine tasting coming up on Feb 11th. Tell me about that. Uh, it'll be uh, in one of our banquet rooms, and uh, we're doing 
just a big fun wine tasting right before Valentine's Day, getting people excited about wine. Um, we're gonna have a lot of different wines. I think we've got something like 50 different wines coming, so wow. lots of wines to try. Uh -huh. um, it is February 11th, it's at 6 p.m. Call, make reservations, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some food with it. It's not like a full-on cocktail party, but I'm gonna send some snacks out there and, and you know make sure that people are getting something to eat. And then tell me about Valentine's Day. Strings is perfect for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is, uh, I mean, it is a great day of the year for us, for sure. We love it. We have so much fun. Um, we, we totally deck out the restaurant, red and balloons and hearts and everything. And uh, we're offering a uh, four course pre-fee menu. Uh, it is $65 per person, um, plus tax plus tip. And you know, we're not holding back. The entree choices, we have a filet mignon, we've got lobster tail. Um, we've we've got all kinds of stuff. We've, we're going to have some stuff with some caviar on it. We've got oysters on the half shell. You know, all those aphrodisiac asparagus, <laughs> cinnamon. Like, there's so many that we're. I, I I mean, just like I do my normal menus with Valentine's, I wrote out a list of aphrodisiacs, and was like, I'm using as many as possible. <laughs> Welcome back to American Woman and Strings Restaurant. I'm obviously in the bar area. And new to Strings is their lighter patio and bar menu. 